Hey, I'm Dusty Holden. And uh, I started working with Beyond Macros in November of, I believe, 2017. And I worked with uh, Matt for right out a year, a little bit over that. And that, that year, it was a really transformational year for me on a lot of different levels. I think I, I went into the situation more focused on my physical appearance and kind of some of the goals that I had set for uh, what I was wanting to achieve physically, but came out of that one year with a lot more things uh, that I had accomplished than really what I initially went in uh, looking for. Um, I'd say my biggest challenge was probably just consistency. You know, I think that's most everybody's biggest challenge. I would, I had, had done counted macros before working with Matt and had, had achieved some level of, of success, but I knew that it was, a, I had been counting macros for about two years before I started working with Matt. Um, I think I'd, I'd gotten the consistency and then just boredom of just the, kind of the same routine um, and not really knowing, I guess, having a clear path of how I was going to get where I wanted to go. Um, so some of the changes that I experienced were where I was able to accomplish all of my physical goals that I had set uh, when we originally started working together. But what Matt helped me realize over that time that we worked together what it was it was a lot more than just counting macros and and food really there was a lot of other aspects that were playing into it um, and you know I really noticed that on the first phone call that I had with him because we didn't really talk about food which it was it was surprising to me he was talking to me things about like my schedule he wanted to know my work schedule he wanted to know my training schedule and then wanted to even look at the, the type of training that I was doing. And that's the first time that any nutrition coach had ever really taken an in-depth look, you know, at what I was doing from a training standpoint. And that was very, very unique uh, to me. So after about a year and a couple months of working with Matt, we had this conversation kind of recapping uh, the last year uh, what was really cool is he was able to come and actually spend a couple weeks uh, in my town. We worked out, hung out, uh, and really connected on a personal level. And, and during that time, you know, it was, he kind of challenged me to think about what was next because I had really achieved all the goals that I had originally set. And for the first time, um, I realized why his company was called Beyond Macros because he started talking to me about, hey, I, I don't want you to track. I want you to take a, some time away from tracking and I want you just to rely on your intuition and you know, see how your body's feeling. And initially that was pretty scary to me because I'd gotten so used to just my normal routine and tracking and, and being in control of every single thing that I was doing. Uh, but I trusted him, so uh, I, kind of, I started moving away, loosely tracked for a little while and then uh, took a break completely from tracking just to see how my body felt. During those times, I was able to maintain uh, my body composition, uh, my weight never really changed, and I'm not somebody that really looks a lot at the scale, but the times that I were, was on it, um, there was really no fluctuation of weight. Uh, and then after about three or four months of just not tracking, I decided that tracking was something that I, I enjoyed and uh, I, re I came back to it. And so now I, I track um, on a pretty regular basis, but I'm not super uh, detailed or diligent about it. I try just to ca have some level of accountability and keep track of what I'm eating, but I don't, um, you know, really, I guess, inconvenience myself or um, keep myself from enjoying something that I, that I really would like to do say dinner with friends or um, you know something like that and that's been really really freeing for me and allowed me I think to have a, a much like healthier relationship with food and with just health in general so that I'm not so rigid about it 
one of the biggest things is, is honestly, I think in accomplishing your goals, it's never really just about one thing. So like I had said earlier, you know, I kind of came in, nutrition was the focus, but then I quickly realized that there was a lot of other things that was probably holding me back from accomplish, accomplishing the goals that I had set. One, you know, being stress uh, in, in that being, you know, just in life in general, brought on by work, my schedule, you know, just trying to be committed to too many things. Um, and I think just the management of kind of the other things in my life and how that affects nutrition, that it's not just about the food, that there's a, some other aspects that definitely play a big part, sleep. Um, and those were all things that, you know, Matt talked to me about and kind of brought to light and helped me just realize that, you know, how much, you know, how important they, that they really are. Um, the other thing is, is I think, you know, just the consistency of it, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it, it's not always about hitting those numbers within you know, whatever, one to three grams, um, that, you know, there's, it's okay, you know, if, you, if, if you're off a little bit here or a little bit there. And the, the main thing is, is um, that you, that you, you just, that you have a good relationship with uh, the process, that you don't get uh, beat down by it, that it's not overwhelming or, or frustrated. Um, that you just you you know what you're you're working toward, and that you just know that it's going to take some time and and commit to the the whole process.